Hi everyone, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your pick a card reading on what you need to know from spirit, what you need to know from spirit. What I want you to do is take a deep breath and just concentrate on the three piles here, okay? You can pick more than one pile if there's something that you have an additional question on, so keep that in mind too. But the first pile here is pile number one with the star, Pile number two with the heart and pile number three with the moon. All right. We're going to start with pile number one, the star. This is your healing message for the end. So we're going to leave that here. These two are the after tarot, and I never take these. Um, these are the outcome cards, and I never take them reversed, just to let you know. We have the Page of Wands with Judgment and the Fool reversed. With the overall energy of exchanging gifts. I feel here, for those of you who picked pile number one with the star, Whatever this is for having a new beginning, make sure that it is an equal and fair exchange because there has been things here that are going to feel a little bit rough or feel like it's not coming in fruition, but it is, okay? It's just that I feel for many of you, whatever new start that you want to take, you're a little bit reserved or a little bit concerned that it's too risky here with the fool reversed. Now the fool energy reversed is, is usually someone who is foolish, doesn't want to take the leap. But this is a new beginning. This is a new start. So there's something here in this middle energy that makes you feel like is this really an equal give exchange? Now, this can be for anything. It could be a relationship. It's taking a leap of something new, new, even a new job or a new opportunity in place here. Now, your outcome cards here is the page of pentacles. So this is definitely about a new opportunity, a new offer to take actions to, okay? So this can be job. It could be even a person, but it's giving you high anxiety, and I feel here the advice spirit is giving you is to really go within as well, okay? Battle those demons. Take actions on what is, you know, going in your head, what's in that head space of yours. So keep that in mind. It is, it's, it's fighting the need to, to clear this, okay? Now, I also feel in this level here, you are very close to completion. The 27 comes down to a 9. And it is about having that independence. This kind of reminds me of like the, even though it's a, an exchanging about a gift is coming in place here, um, you, you don't want to be too focused on the falsehoods of people wearing masks. It's like you're curious about this offer, but at the same time, you're, you're also trying to get advice as to is this the right decision to make. And Spirit's saying, watch what your mindsets are. Watch what your mindset is in order for this opportunity to see if it's right for you, okay? So pay attention to make sure that the words and the actions of this individual or even this opportunity um, is aligned, that it, it matches so that you won't, or you won't have anxieties about this full start here. Your final card is forward movement. So whatever decision that is made here, know that it... You're going to be trusting your intuition here, too. Um, you, It's going to allow you to ascend no matter what. Guys, pay attention to the number again. We got a nine. So I feel like this is going to be something where you are going to persevere through or ascend or make the right decisions. This may not be the right decision for you that you currently are asking about, but Spirit's saying trust your knowledge. Trust, trust the lessons that you've been through, okay? The ascension here is here for you. It's really in this level of just being in place for you already, okay? So that's what we got for pile number one. Let's see what's going on for pile number two with the heart. Ooh, new life, new beginning. Ooh, but the emperor is reversed. 
with the Ace of Swords reversed, but the Ace of Wands. Hmm. I do feel like there's action in place here. So whoever this is could be Aries energy, but this is someone who's very manipulative because the Emperor is reversed. So when I see the Emperor ver reversed, this is somebody who can be a little bit narcissistic. This is somebody who's very manipulative and has to have it their way or the highway, okay? But listen, you are waking up. You have awareness. You're not sleeping on this anymore. This could be a boss. This could be a father figure. This could be a lover. Whoever this individual is, um, there is no victory. You know that, that this person is not authentic. They're not truthful. And notice here, this is really showing me a mirror. It's like almost seeing the mirror of what this individual really is, okay? The downfall. And I feel like there's going to be action in place that's coming here for you. You're taking actions. You're taking stock of a new life here. This card is about being passionate. It's, it's also a new beginning. Oh, you know what it's a new beginning with? Somebody who is more aligned. Are you kidding me? Now, this is an emperor you can look at. Some of you, this is a new opportunity to work with someone who is aligned, who does have a lovely heart. Um, you know, I, I feel like whatever this is, it's closure with one who pretended to be the emperor, okay, but really wasn't. So some of you, this is a new job opportunity. This could be even alignment with someone who is, now this is very specific, but for those of you, this is a father or something. This could be, this is a level of realizing you have unconditional love for them, but it doesn't necessarily mean they have to be a part of your life or take action of your life. You're still going to take actions towards self-love. But others of you, it's because you're leaving someone who is very narcissistic and it's because now you got somebody here who can give you that love. It's unconditional. It's powerful. Wow. Let's see what the healing advice is. Woohoo! Abundance here with the eight. Pile number two, go with the flow. Spirit's really saying go with the flow. I'm sorry for the glare on this. I'm still playing with these, these camera things so I can do the pick of cards. But this is being aligned here. I mean, this is everything. This is going with the flow, ascending. You got dragonflies, you got butterflies. Look at that beautiful scenery. Um, this is because you're letting go of this this manipulative person and having a new beginning and can't kind of going out of those cobwebs, right? It's allowing yourself to love so you can allow for a new beginning here. Okay. So go with the flow and they're showing me how this cup is just overflowing. So you definitely have a passionate new beginning coming your way. Um, and really the advice spirit's giving you is to go with the flow. You are in the right path for sure. You are in the right path. Let's see what's going on for pile number three. What advice they need. The moon. For those of you picked here, just the symbolization of this. I mean, I always think of the moon, you know, is illusions or the unknown. Surrendering to the unknown, I'm hearing. Oh, we have justice. The knight of wands. Oh, look at this. You have four cards. How did that slip out in there? There's a reason for everything, though. Temperance. I'm going to have to do a little bit of a different spread, and that's okay. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Reversed. Ooh. Come to the edge. But come to the edge, and I do take these reverse, guys. I, I feel this level of um, not wanting to take a risk. This is the fool's energy to me. All right? Not wanting to take a risk. Having a closed heart or a closed-off mind on this, okay? Probably because... Um, this is both cards of patience and alignment here, but this is the divine coming in too. I love kind of how it's the two major, major arcanas here with the Libra energy of fairness, okay? Some of you might be dealing with some contracts or battles here of what is the right decision to be made, but I feel like someone is counseling or doing that for you in some way, shape, or form. Now, who is it here? We have a lot of fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for pile number three, but the Knight of Wands is something that is passionately coming in, and the Queen of Wands is someone who is very passionate themselves, creative, loving, you know, looks good, 
but with them reverse, this is someone who's selfish, angry, could still look good, but, you know, only look good from the outside. Inside, they're not that great of a person, okay? In and out energy, all right? So it's something in regards to someone who's pretty manipulative and having the balance and patient. And I keep hearing, have patience, it's coming in your favor. Have patience, it's coming in your favor, all right? This person is not worth the risk, all right? So whatever actions you want to take, and I think a lot of it has to do with what you have to say, they're saying just stay patient, stay firm. Some of you should not even communicate with this individual. They're just saying that this blockage is needed. It's mediating so it can be removed from your life. It's literally being removed from your life, okay? Um, it's going to allow you to have, and it's going to take some time here, okay? So this card is all about patience, but also have alignment here with Sagittarius energy. So notice here that her hands up and it's like ascending here. So it's kind of like releasing it to the universe and spirits asking you to release this. Trust the process. They're saying trust the process for this. The after tarot cards here. Look at this. Trust the process. All right. You have the three, the three of swords, which is usually heartbreak. And it's always temporary, guys. And this doesn't always have to be about love, but this is because you're cutting your losses. All right. Be patient on here because there are better things coming in. You're going to have a stronger foundation here. And again, you're ascending here. So this is being able to heal a broken heart and cut your losses so that you can get new gains. I'm hearing new gains for you. Okay. Spirit saying, trust the process. And your final message here is positive minded people. Spirit is reminding you there needs to be a change in relationships for you with that number 23, which comes to a five, which is all about transformation. Spirit is reminding you that these positive minded people are to help you change your vibration so that you can allow a more aligned, going with the flow, balanced relationship. Okay. You're also, many of you are healing inner child wounds as well. Okay. Okay. So love your tribe, trust your tribe, and, and start changing and having, that's what Spirit's telling you right here, is, is, is to be able to transform those relationships um, that are healthy, healthy, okay? Because some of you did not have healthy relationships when you were back in a child like. All right, guys, that's what I got for your readings. If this resonated, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care.